match sales here in 1994 and uh, it's changed a lot. Uh, very informative, for want of a word. And the other thing I want to say is that it has a lot of propaganda, so if you can you know, put up with that and accept that that's you know, what, what they're going to say, it's very interesting. For me, it just really depicts that war, regardless of what it is, it's, it's just not a place that you want to be at. But yeah, um, a lot different to what I saw in 1994. A lot different. Uh, a little bit more tamer. The country is actually you know, going ahead and um, the effects of the war hasn't stopped the country from thriving.
not an ostrich, is it? Show us a piece of meat. It looks I don't like know. Pork. It's not pork. What do you mean? It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it's pale. It's not it doesn't look like beef. Beef's dark, a bit darker. It's nice. You like it? Yeah. When, when you say it's not ostrich, what does it taste like? I don't know. It just doesn't taste like ostrich. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. All the ostriches that I've eaten in my life. No, like. It's the last morning and we're heading back to uh, Australia and leaving this um, beautiful country that I absolutely adore. It's been an absolutely wonderful trip. I've been here five times but this one in particular will just be one of the best times even in the future because I got to see my mum's village which has been a long time in the making and just to, to go there and just see all the hard work that she's put into her family and to have us there was just uh, a moment that I can't even put into words. It was very emotional. And then to take uh, Fraser, Lachlan and Caitlin to Vietnam, Bung Thao, where I was born, was also uh, just a memorable moment in time. But yeah, it's just wonderful to see how this city, the landscape has changed, as you can see behind. It's not the flat city that it used to be. It's now a thriving, Oh gosh, I, wouldn't, I don't even have a word for it, but it's just a, an absolute, you know, place of hustle, bustle. Uh, there's so much youth, there's a, a lot of business. It's just so much growth in, in really a relatively short period of time, and it is wonderful to see. And when you go to the places like the Wall uh, Remnants Museum and, you know, some of the prisons that we went to and just learn about the hardships uh, of the people, you can really understand why they are so tenacious. They're, they're so happy and they're, they're, they're grateful. So I hope my kids have taken that away with them too and just learned that you know sometimes we don't need to have you know, all the, the things that other people have, uh, but just sometimes be grateful for the family that we have, the love that we share, uh, the health that we have and the experiences that we have because they are priceless. You can't, you can't pay for them. So I just want to say uh, goodbye to Vietnam. Uh, it's been a, a tremendous journey, pilgrimage even, and I will definitely be back. And yeah, really love this place. Mm -hmm.